Lovely stars shine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head. Just like a child, I live in Wonderland. All my dreams are coming true. Heavy shackles used to hold Hello. me down. Just dropping by uh, just a quick video today just to show you how I've got on with my named clothing or named patterns Yona coat because I've got it all finished I did think it was going to take me weeks if I'm being absolutely honest to get this finished but uh, it didn't it, it, it only took me, took me one weekend hello just show you my little dog she's come in to say hello today hello Trixie this is Trixie walking around with a tiger in the mouth. Go on. Okay, so a little bit more about um, this uh, coat. So if you saw my vlog last week, um, I told you I was going to be starting um, this. So it's the named Yona. Um, and I was a little bit apprehensive because um, the level of difficulty is ranked as advanced. Um, I did also have a read up of um, several blog posts in the sewing community where other people had, had started to sew this coat and had made this coat and everybody said how wonderful the coat is um, but there were quite a few struggles on the instructions and um, I was no exception to that either. Um, first thing um, with this pattern as well, I got the um, PDF version and there's pros and cons just to kind of show you on here where this is different than a lot of the PDFs is the pattern pieces overlay one another um, so it's a positive from the point of view as there's not as many sheets to tape together um, but then from a negative you need to spend that extra bit of time tracing off the pattern pieces uh, and of course you need some kind of pattern paper to do that as well um, so just be mindful of that if you are going ahead with the PDF version um, my fabric, um, as I said last week, is from Abacan. It's some kind of wool blend. I don't know exactly what it is because it was from the remnant basket, but I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Uh, I absolutely love the colour and I love uh, how it looks on. I'll add a few photos um, throughout the video to show you what it looks like being warm. I lined it with some polyester that was in my stash. It's patterned lining. Um, it is um, sugar skulls. I never know whether these are called candy skulls or sugar skulls. I think it's sugar skulls, which are not normally my thing because I'm more into flowers. Um, but I do think it looks um, quite cool. Quite quite like how that's turned out. Actually sewing the coat itself, um, putting the main coat together was uh, quite straightforward, nothing too difficult at all. I thought I may struggle with the collar um, a little bit, but because I'd recently sewn um, collars on collar stands on the wear lemonade blouses, I think that helped me to understand what I was doing there. Um, so the coat itself came together really well. You have to use loads and loads of interfacing. Um, and if I'm honest, I was tempted a couple of times to not put so much interfacing in, but I'm glad that I didn't. And, and I did put it in as the um, pattern instructs because it really does give the coat the extra structure. For example, round the um, hems and the bottom of the sleeves, um, round the uh, raglan sleeve and the neckline and the collar, uh, you interface. So it takes ages to put the interfacing in place, but it's worth it. Um, the pockets, I'll just flip this round a bit, um, are patch pockets, uh, which again, sometimes it can be a little bit hit and miss how they turn out. But I think with the wall, um, the stitching kind of sinks into the fabric anyway. So if it's not perfect, it's not so visible. But I did interface the pockets, which I think um, really helps because it stops them from being floppy. Um, so definitely do that. Um, where the pattern did become tricky for me was when I um, started to add the facing and the lining. I've added more detail in my blog post, so if you click on my website link um, on my channel, you can have a read of the blog post. 
um, as to how I got over those challenges. There's some other videos and tutorials that I've shared in there that really helped. But I also did contact um, named themselves with a couple of queries and they got back to me within a couple of hours and they were super helpful. Um, so that's one thing I'd say, something I've never really done before is contact the pattern maker. But if ever you're stuck, um, it's definitely one of the benefits of working with independent um, pattern companies. Um, they're there to help you as well. Um, so although the instructions weren't that clear in some places, um, I dropped them an email and they responded really, really quickly. Um, so I'd definitely be using this pattern again. I've also, if, if, I'm, if I'm honest, um, already got my fabric ready for the next version. You'll probably get to see as my videos grow that I tend to make a pattern and if I like it, I make another version pretty much straight away. And that's because I've still got all the pattern pieces um, out. I've not filed them away yet. And while everything's still fresh in my mind on what I'm doing as well, um, so I do intend on getting another one sewn up pretty quickly. The fabric I'm using for that is this. It's absolutely um, gorgeous. I have no idea what it is because, again, I got it from the remnant basket at Abacan. Um, it is some kind of wool, um, I, I would say. Um, it's quite tightly woven and it's this lovely pink colour and it's got kind of specks running through it. But it's double faced as well. So on the inside, it's got this really soft um, knitted um, effect. Um, and it feels, in fact, I've seen on one of the edges, um, I think it has got a little bit of wadding inside as well. So it'll be super warm. So um, I'm going to make my next version using this. I think it'll look lovely. It is quite a bit thicker than this fabric. So what I may do is on the um, collar, for example, I may use a lighter fabric on the back of the collar so I haven't got so much bulk. Talking about the um, bulk and sewing a coat, um, you definitely need a walking foot, I would say, to make this out of a thick wool because in some places you're, you're sewing layers and layers of fabric together. I'll uh, insert a couple of photos in the video to um, show you. But definitely with a walking foot, the machine just gets on with the job and it's no problem at all. So that's a quick overview of the um, named clothing Yona coat. Highly recommend it. It looks lovely on. Um, and once you've got over the challenges of um, kind of lining the coat, and I struggled a little bit initially with how you line the um, facing up, it really isn't that difficult. And it's probably because of uh, my lack of experience in making coats as well. So if you've made some coats before, I'm sure you'll fly through this. I'm sure you'll find it really easy. So do let me know what you think in the comments. Um, tell me whether you like it or not and what you think of my um, pink fabric. I'll keep you updated with how I'm getting on with that version. And if you've got any questions at all about the pattern or if you are making it yourself and you're stuck on any steps, then don't hesitate just to give me a shout and I'll, let, I'll help you out where I can. Okay, thanks for stopping by and I'll see you soon. Lovely Bye. Star shine lights my way to bed. Magic rainbows glisten in my head Just like a child I live in Wonderland All my dreams are coming true